Just the other day, I started browsing Amazon Prime and Netflix for a new show to watch during this lockdown. When I found a new web series called Patal Lok, the series looked quite good. It was produced by Anushka Sharma, but the series left no stone unturned in showing Hindus in a bad light. It showed a pandit cooking meat and serving it to a man who eats it while sitting under a mural of a goddess with a cow. It shows how the Hindus in UP do not let minorities practice their religion, how upper caste Hindus made a criminal out of lower caste men. The villains are all upper caste Hindus obviously and all the honest or oppressed people in the series are either minorities or of lower castes. As I sadly closed Amazon Prime, I opened up YouTube and instantly saw some stand-up comedy videos. It started on a great note with Abhishek Kupmanyu and Anubhav Singh Bassi. Both are quite hilarious. As I was finished watching them, a Kunal Kamra video suddenly popped up in my recommendation. I had only heard of his name and saw some of his tweets. Also, exposed him quite a while on my Facebook page but never watched his stand-ups so I watched it. Instantly, I regretted it. The video was firstly extremely unfunny and started on an abusive note towards old age people. As the video progressed, the stand-up comedian started making jokes on Jai Mata Di. The whole video was not only painted with propaganda against nationalism and BJP but was Hindu-phobic. I had never realized that this anti-BJP, anti-Arnab Goswami comedian was also anti-Hindu. With just a few searches on YouTube and Google, the stand-up propaganda of this new gen comedians were revealed. All big names of stand-up comedy, Veer Das, Kunal Kamra, Varun Grover, be it anyone, one thing is common among them. All of them are anti-BJP and they love showing it off on social media. Even those who have a political or genuinely funny political videos like Abhishek Upmanyu and Abhijit Ganguly are openly anti-BJP, which is no way a bad thing. But the nexus reveals itself when you see and observe comedians like Veer Das, Sanjay Rajora, Munawar Faruqi and Kunal Kamra himself. The smear campaign against Hindu is now using stand-up comedy to infiltrate the minds of youth. Let us take Veer Das for example. This actor-comedian who acted in movies like Go Go Gone and Delhi Belly is known Modi hater. In one of his videos which is available on Netflix, yes, Netflix, Veer Das says this about Ramayan. What Veer Das fails to mention here is that Lakshman never even looked at the face of Ma Sita while they were in the forest. He only managed to look at her feet in respect of her. He called her Mata and she called him Putra. Being an atheist and a logical, science-loving guy is fine, but this comment is neither funny nor in good taste. It is disgusting and vile comment which only sexualizes relationship between a mother and a son. Though. Full credit to Veer. He targets not just Hinduism but other religions as well. But there is a big reason for that too. He does that only because he has now been signed by an American comedy management company who only lets him do most of his shows in the USA. In the USA, he is now becoming a part of left liberal comedy nexus who again target only the majority in the religion of the USA, just like in India. In fact, it is the Indian comedians who are now copying their American comrades. Stand-up comedy in America is now limited to Republican hating, male bashing and the truth is that obsession of the left with identity and political correctness that their comedy seems to be parroting established politically correct statements with moral social justice cause just isn't funny. Anyway. Moving to India, fortunately the left still isn't the dominant culture in India which is why propagating things against one religion with their epic comedy is what they want to do. Take Sanjay Rajora for example, he is a stand-up comedian and a part of the far left group called Essie Tessie Democracy. This group of artists recently went on an all India tour which they called the Azadi tour. What I can say is that they did not hold back their hatred this time. The epic comedian Sanjay Rajara in one of his acts based all his jokes around the Vedas. He started firstly by making fun of Hindu god Ganesh's elephant head, after which the discussion suddenly shift to how the Mahabharat character Eklavya lost his thumb because he was a Dalit. For an upper caste Hindu, everything is about the superiority of the Vedas is apparently the punchline in this act, at which the brainwashed and probably brain dead audience laughs wildly and claps hardly.
to a religious Hindu, the apparent jokes at the Modi government, spiritualism, and the sciences of astrology won't even hurt one sentiment in front of the jokes about wanting Amarnath Yatra pilgrimstead, Draupadi having five husbands, or the cuss words against the sciences of astrology. This act in which Rajora tries to prove the superiority of science over religion is nothing short of a venom spring contest against one religion, Hinduism. Sadly, this is what the secular fabric in India has all been about. Did you forget that the father of nuclear atomic bomb, Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer, was an avid follower of Bhagavad Gita? Does he forget that he even quoted the Bhagavad Gita in one of his interviews? Has the far left forgotten that great Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ayyengar Ramanujan actually credits Devi Mahalakshmi for 3900 of his formulas? Do these Hindu-phobic comedians forget that many of those formulas haven't even been proved by scientists even today? Science seems to have failed here. Even the person who invented zero, Aryabhat, was a devout Hindu Brahmin. But our epic comedy king Sanjay Rajora seems to have shrouded common sense and facts behind the garb of Hindu phobia. Or that may just be his propaganda. Bashing Hindus is quite easy in India apparently. Even more easy if you're a comedian who belongs to a minority religion like Munawar Faruqi. Faruqi uses lyrics of popular Bollywood songs to mock Lord Rama over his 14 years of exile and portrays Sita as an insecure wife suspicious of her husband Lord Rama's loyalty towards her. In the beginning of this video, the same comedian gathered sympathy for his Islamic talim that is taught in madrasas. Why such hypocrisy? Why make jokes about Sita crossing the line on the lines of feminism? This joke of a comedian even mocked the brutal killing of 58 Hindu women, children and sadhus who were burnt alive in Kodra Khand. He even calls it movie made by Amit Shah and directed by Amit Shah. The same comedian was trying to gather sympathy for the dying children in Syria in another video. Imagine the hypocrisy. Faruqi says, Former Shiv Sena leader Ramesh Solanki has filed a FIR against Faruqi for his comments. In 2018, a man named Paras Rajput has confronted comedians Masoom Rajwani and Kunal Kamra for cracking offensive jokes on Hinduism. The incident is of 15 April 2018, when Masoom Rajwani insulted Hindu gods and goddess at Canvas Laugh Club, Mumbai. Paras Rajput immediately interrupted the show and filed the police complaint the same night. A video was put out by Paras Rajput where people can be heard of protesting against the offensive jokes made against Hinduism on the show. Just recently, another stand-up comedian belonging to the anti-Hindu nexus got exposed, a comedian by the name of Surleen Kaur. Her video started to round on social media where she could be heard of making jokes on ESCON, an international Hindu organization that worshipped Lord Krishna, while blaming the Indian government for banning porn. She says that while everyone is a scorn type on the outside, we are all pawn type on the inside. She rambles on in her unfunny comedic act about how Indian sadhus wrote Kama Sutra while comparing Khajuraho with an open orgy. Little does the unfunny comedian know that neither is the Kama Sutra an ancient Indian scripture like the Vedas nor it is written by a sadhu. As far as ISKCON goes, has she forgotten about Akshay Patra, an ISKCON run NGO that feed lakhs of people, be it school children, laborers, anyone from any religion, and run one of the world's largest mega kitchens? Has she forgotten that this organization helps the government in their midday meal programs even during the non COVID days? Fortunately, ISKCON showed grit that no one did. They have filed a case against her and refused to accept her apology and one of the companies she works with. While creative freedom is important for artists to make good quality content, why is it that creative freedom is only being used to make unfunny Hindu-phobic propaganda stand-up comedy videos? Why is it that in the name of creative freedom, the filmmakers are making movies with the name like Sexy Durga and songs with the lyrics like Sexy Ratha, and films where Lord Shiva is showing crawling underneath an unclean public urinal? Did the artists from 1900s did not make good movies or songs? 
creativity must be encouraged but only in a direction where it questions the hypocrisy and the wrongness in a society when creativity in itself become hypocritical in nature that is when one can say it is actually propaganda in the garb of creativity this is what the stand up comedy scene in india has become the pertinent point to note here is that only hinduism is subjected to such derivative ridicule while other religions have largely been exempted from their contemptuous mockery perhaps to preserve the secular fabric of the humor while india has largely been an accepting country which accepts people from every religion or no religion into its fold the fact that india's own culture is being openly mocked by these comedians in the name of humor is what makes the stance of people like me aggressive against them these are the same atheists who talk and stand up for religious freedom of the minority communities of india these atheist comedian leave no stone unturned when the matter concerns itself with hindu bashing be it their gods festivals or rituals while these people claim to be the savior of constitution on twitter their attitude towards the majority religion in india is as hypocritical for deliberately inciting hate against one community these people can be booked under indian penal code section 295a which criminalizes such behavior as the late actor irfan said religion mere aur bhagwan ke aapas ka mamla hai koi dakhal andazi na kare these comedians need to understand that making a mockery out of someone's religious beliefs is no comedy be it any religion the nexus of the left liberal cultural marxism which today stands deeply rooted in all the democracies of the west is slowly starting to make its way in the deeply culturally rooted fabric of india and the current crop of stand up comedians is a great propaganda tool of it perhaps it is time that we take an aggressive stance towards them and slap them with lawsuits rather than simple fires thank you so much for watching the video do like let me know your thoughts in the comment section below For more content like this do subscribe and hit the bell icon and you can follow us on social media Twitter Facebook and Instagram all the links are given below in the description I will meet you in another video till then goodbye